Hey guys, how are you? It's Arthi. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to talk to you about the Vera Bradley bag that I had bought actually back in May. And this video is so long overdue because I know I had promised it like two months ago and it's like really late now but it's okay it's better late than never right so I'm gonna show you what the bag is and I will tell you why I love it so much and if you're considering something that is uh, I guess more eco-friendly you might want to buy something from Vera Bradley because she is a great designer now I'm gonna first show you the bag so you know what I'm talking about this is what the bag looks, looks like no wait no I'm sorry I'm not holding it up the right way okay this is the front of the bag and as you can see, this is a tote bag. And she has many different styles and designs in her, um, well, on her website. She has a lot of different collections. And I personally have always been a fan of tote bags. I just like the style of it. And I like fabric based materials or fabric bags like this because I just think it's more eco friendly and it's always a great option if you're not really a fan of leather or if you don't want a vinyl type of material which can really cheapen quickly over time because I've owned many bags like that and this is a great option and it's really a nice design because it's very spacious and I'll show you the different compartments and just what it has to it now first let me give you I guess some of the measurements because I wrote it down now the first thing is okay now the strap is about ten and a half inches from top to bottom and then the bag itself from top to bottom here is about 13 inches so it's a pretty good size it's not too wide and it's not too long either because some of the options that she has on her website with some of the tote bags they are actually pretty large and they can feel very bulky if you're going to carry them around but this is actually just a good size I think now it's the same as you can see on the front and in the back you know it's very uniform except for the little label that's right there and I'll show you the inside of it hopefully you can see it well enough this is what the inside I'll hold it <laughs> no this way this is what the inside looks like so there are there are actually two, two po no, three pockets um, towards the front. This is the front of it, like that. And then there is one pocket towards the back or on the back part of it. And then there's like a little slot where you can put a pen or a pencil. And that's great because you can stick your cell phone or you can stick like a small notebook or whatever you have in there to carry around with you. Now, the thing about this bag, though, is that you know, it's not like with the um, the other bag that I had previously where it had two pockets on both sides. This one is kind of like an all-in-one where you just throw everything in and it just will fall to the bottom. And if you are like me, and I'll admit that I've always been kind of a scatterbrain where I need to kind of compartmentalize everything when it comes to carrying purses or bags or luggage around. Otherwise, it just makes me crazy because I need to know where everything is. Everything has to have a spot this type of tote bag might make you a little crazy at least in the beginning because you know there's a lot of space here if you look inside again and it goes down pretty deep and if you put your things in there you're gonna have to dig around to find your stuff I mean other than the pockets that you have on both sides you know you can't can't really stuff a lot of things into those pockets other than small items but if you're gonna carry like say a wallet a notebook, if you have pens and pencils, or any other small items that are kind of bulky, you're going to have to just throw everything inside. And then when you need it, you'll have to just stick your hand in and, you know, thumb around and try to find it. You know, and things do move around, though, in this particular tote. I've noticed that because I have carried it here and there. And somehow it's weird, but things kind of get mixed up, especially at the bottom. And I've spent, like, you know, five minutes standing in a store like putting my arm inside and digging trying to find like a pen or a pencil I mean which is weird you wouldn't think that you would lose something like that but it actually does get lost in this little baby <laughs> which is I don't know why it just happens it's just the design and the function of it I mean it's just how it is but um, you know other than that I mean if you think that you can deal with that whole you know open space type of design you'll be just fine or you will get used to it over time I promise and then the next thing is that it's actually 
a great carry-on bag like for travel if you're going to go on a plane this works incredibly well even if you are say a college student and you want something stylish to take with you you can definitely stick a notebook in here you could probably put like a thin book in here I mean I would not put any heavy college textbooks in this it will not hold it very well and you know the straps might even come apart I think a little bit after a while but uh, you could put like small books like novels or nonfiction books hardcover books you can definitely stick in here there's plenty of space this way going you know, as far as the width is concerned and even like you know as far as the length goes a uh, large notebook would fit in here like a five subject college notebook because I have carried that stuff with me um, also if you're a mom this is a great mommy bag too this will most definitely hold diapers and it will hold a package of wipes if you need that maybe even um like some type of baby bottle carry i'm not exactly sure about all baby products these days because my kids are way beyond that but uh, you could stick a bottle in here and even your own personal items you could put in you could throw a makeup bag in here it'll hold that just fine and anything else that you need that's personal to you or you know items that are work related school related it will handle it just fine uh, the last thing I'm going to tell you is just the material to me seems a bit stiff now one of my neighbors had a Vera Bradley bag not this particular one but it was a different tote design from several years back and she did tell me that the fabric itself was much softer and more plush back then and it's she, she well she said it seems like they've kind of cheapened the material a little bit because this is overall she said a little bit thinner and the fabric is or the texture of the fabric is a bit rough at least to you know from her experience from owning this a few years ago but I found it to be okay I think it's fine you know maybe there's a purpose to it I think it's it probably repels the elements of the you know of the environment a little bit better like with rain and snow if you live in a snowy place and all that stuff so it might function well that way in the long run but other than that this bag is excellent it is number one and just keep in mind like I said it's eco-friendly so if you're looking for something new and different give this one a try and let me know what you think or if you have another bag from Vera Bradley leave me your comments and tell me if you like it or love it hate it or whatever <laughs> you know okay and that's it I hope you enjoyed the review thank you for watching